Hey, this is the new frontier, and I, you're gonna be seeing this shirt for like five or seven more episodes. Great, okay. I, I was gonna say, wait, when you can tell when I need to do laundry because I'm either wearing a con shirt or a shirt with my face on it. Uh, so yeah, so you'll be looking at this, whatever, and you're used to seeing that. Um, but okay, so this is one of those uh, kind of self-fulfilling prophecy episodes. Jake has a croak dream, which I love that term. Yeah. Um, that he's in space, and that there's a rocket ship and a banana man, and uh, and that he holds his breath and he dies. Which, first of all, I like the idea, how do you kill Jake? And it's sort of like, oh, it's, okay, now you can kind of see how. You know, you, you sort of don't think about, like, can he even die? Um, and he's surprisingly excited, like, I have my first big croak dream. Uh, well, my only croak dream, and Finn doesn't want him to go, so he... Uh, of course, they come across the Banana Man, so Jake is kind of trying to make it happen while Finn is trying to make it not happen. And at the end, it looks like he wasn't in space. He was actually underwater with a bunch of stuff, with the rocket ship and everything and all the little pieces, the shards that are forming the stars, which was really clever. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I legitimately did not see it coming either, <laughs> which I like. Um, but Finn is there, and he kind of saves him, or at least he, by him being there, Jake forces himself to save Finn. And... They realize it's going to happen again then, but Finn wants, you know, has to always be by his side or else he'll die. So, which I love just how, yeah, and he does that. Which, as if there's not enough gay gifts of us <laughs> already. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and, and he says, so I'm just always going to be by your side, which I'm now really curious if this show, like, follows through somehow with all that stuff being repeated. Um... Actually, now that you say that, yeah, I'm curious if uh, all the pieces will fall into place again. I actually kind of hope, hmm. I kind of hope it does. I know it sounds strange, but it's like, because I don't want to see Jake die, but it's like, okay, well, he's going to die at some point or whatever, and just wouldn't it be cool if they actually follow through, and when you see it coming, you're going to be like, oh, no, this scene, like, yeah. this is kind of sad. Like, I, I find stuff surprisingly sadder when you know it's going to happen and it follows through. Um, so, uh, yeah, the cat's being a nut again. He's... He's like, so every time we're filming, it's like he knows, he's like, oh, oh, oh don't look at me, don't look at me, ah, don't look at me. He's, uh, Not when we're watching the episode. Yeah, only oh, when we film. He's yeah. like, up, up, you filming? Okay, okay. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, because I always feel that, that, like, sometimes it's even sadder when you know what's going to happen in a story and you know they can't escape it. Uh, so that would be kind of cool if they follow through with it. It'll be sad, but that'd probably be the point. Well, um, I mean, there's a difference between, like, the shock of it happening, like, oh my god, and then the whole thing of, oh god, it's coming up, I know it's coming, here we go, gotta get prepped for it. Yeah, you know? I actually, I mean, maybe because I'm so used to the shock death, I don't mm -hmm. know, and so many people try to use it, but I like the you know what's going to happen death. Um, if done right, it works incredibly well. Yeah, so it's... It, it, if you guys are going to follow through with that, follow through with that. That, that should be kind of cool. Um, but uh, it's, it's a good episode. I like that... I didn't know if, um... Because you know they're not going to kill Jake, obviously, so I'm like, well, how are they going to get out of this? I knew it couldn't be the exact scenario that they had set up. Um, you know, so, so are they going to do it's just a different scenario and he doesn't really die, or one? They, they kind of do both, and uh, I like that. And I like mostly that Finn doesn't want him to go, which is, you know, a very touching everything, but Jake is just sort of... Like, doesn't even flinch. He's like, no, no, I'm set, I'm ready. Destiny and stuff. And there's something strangely kind of, it's weird, but it's kind of comforting. Like, if he has to die, it's just like, no, no, it's cool. Like, I, got, I knew this was part of the deal, you know. It's cool. Oh, no, yeah, come on, Finn, you're just making it worse. Come on, Destiny. And, and if anything, he's kind of embracing. He's like, Destiny! <laughs> well, he eats the cosmic owl. <clears throat> you don't mess with the cosmic owl. Yeah, do we... Did we see the Cosmic Owl before? Well, uh, briefly we saw him. <laughs> well, well, wasn't he? Because I remember that design. I want to say it was back with the uh, that thing in the tree that came to life. Was that it or something? Am I thinking of... We, we, no. Peoples that said don't... Like, I thought it was like a drawing or a symbol or something. Oh, maybe. I don't remember that. No, it's with the Ice King. Where the Ice King is floating through the air when you first pretty much meet him saying, Why don't people like me? And he goes, Oh, you're a sociopath. Oh, that's right! So that was the first appearance of the Cosmic Owl? Yeah. Okay, huh. You don't mess with the Cosmic Owl, because what the Cosmic Owl shows you will happen. Wow, okay. So that's, yeah, I totally didn't remember that. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, and I think that's what made it a good episode, because we've seen this stuff where it's like, oh, it's not 
like, whatever, the self-fulfilling prophecy, what you see happening is not what's going to happen, or it is, but in a different way. Or, you know, we, we've seen that done before. It's like, oh, how are they going to do it? Okay, they did that way. But I think what held it together, like, made it really unique was their reactions to it. Uh, <laughs> damn kitty. George, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? <laughs> he throws the paper and, yeah, Naruto no, just brings it back it. in. Oh, God. <laughs> That is totally off-centered. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my glob. Okay, anyway. Um, so, uh, yeah, no, I, I, I thought it was... Uh, I thought it worked. I thought it was effective, and I liked the two different attitudes uh, to it. No, I actually completely agree with that. Um, that, you know, you do have Jake who's like, no, dude, this is the way it is. This is... Everyone's gonna die. This is what it is. Cosmic Owl showed me. I'm good. <clears throat> and I do love the part where... Jake's holding onto the rocket and Finn's holding onto his leg and you see him just tearing up and tearing up and he's like, no, no. And then of course Jake just finally kicks him off. Destiny! <laughs> I don't know why, that just made me laugh the most. I just love how hardcore he was. He's just like, you know, Destiny! Yeah. Like, rock on! You know, sort of thing. Uh, and I sort of like, I like these two different attitudes because neither one is right or wrong, per se. You know, it's... There's one where it's like, no, never fight, never give up, you know, that's how you live more and stuff like that, but it's, at the same time, it's gonna happen someday. Yeah. I mean, all of us are gonna croak, so, you know, the idea of just, no, be at peace with it, it'll be better, and stuff like that, you know, it's it's two very different attitudes that are both kind of warranted. Yeah. Um, so, no, I like that. I, I thought it was uh, uh, pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to think what I, it, it turns out funny. Well, well, okay, the Banana Man's Weird Al. Yep, that's right? Weird yeah, you were saying that. Yeah, I <laughs> wouldn't have guessed it. Like you said, he's under glass most of the time. Um, I just wanted to borrow a cup of sugar. <laughs> the, the only thing that made me think maybe it was a celebrity, because he says so little in it, was that they held on him doing the, oh yeah, oh, here we go, yeah, <laughs> woo, that I'm saying to myself. So what okay. was he doing during that, though? And he had the glass jar in his head. He's doing what looked like exercises. Show me what some of them were. Uh, one was this, okay. right? something like that. The other was, well, I, I, he flips around this way, but it would fall on you. Um, I can't remember the other ones. Ah, I'm not very active for the camera. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm trying to give, see, there you go. I'm trying to give people a show here. Everything is awesome. Sorry, it's, it's really in my head. Um, Destiny! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the, the one part that really made me laugh, aside from... Uh, what the death scene or whatever really is, and the fact that it's gonna happen again, which how the hell is that all gonna add up again? Um, is the uh, I love when they're talking underwater, it's like, oh, and then you just see him grabbing on the Jake, and just the the way they animated the eyes popping out of the skull with him <laughs> holding the breath, I thought was hugely funny because I think it's so hard to make those dot eyes mm -hmm. funny. Um, and they do, for the most part, a pretty good job. They make them big, they give them the little shines in there and stuff. I mean, they do they do variations, but that one especially really made me laugh. Um, I loved the arrow scene. Yeah, the arrow was pretty funny. Not the first time, not even the second time, but when he's like, let's go get that first arrow, because we're out of arrows. Yeah. <laughs> That's our only arrow, so let's go get it. Or because we're out of arrows. Yeah, and then the... <laughs> <laughs> It, it felt like I don't there was know a, why. It felt like there was a bit more randomness in this one as opposed to other ones. Mm -hmm. Like I'm thinking of that ending just again with him going, whoo, ah, uh, yeah, ah. Uh. <laughs> I mean, it's like that's something we'll have seen in the first season, mm -hmm. you know, or like where the cosmic owl comes in and says, you know, you're a sociopath, whatever. I mean, it's like that's you feel like they kind of got a little bit of that in this episode again too, which is nice because again, after some of the past ones are just so heavy and so depressing and stuff, you know, it's like okay, well, this is uh, nicer. Yeah, well, I agree. All right, I like this episode. I am curious, now that you especially say it, are they going to go back down this path at some point in time? I hope they do. I, I really don't like when a show cheats like that, and it's like, I understand because stuff changes, and it's not always the same show you thought, but it's like, well, work with it. Work within the limitations set for yourself. But also, it's a dream, I guess, so whatever. But I it's mean, a cosmic it's like, owl. Yeah, what, you can't dream about a cosmic owl? You cannot mess with what the cosmic owl shows you. But it could just be a dream. No. Why? Because well, it, it's the cosmic owl. But just saying cosmic, cosmic owl, owl, it could be in your dream tonight. You would have to follow whatever he yeah, says. Yeah, I would. Because what would happen, whatever the cosmic owl shows you will happen. That's okay. just the way it is. I'm going to, like, when you go to sleep, I'm going to sneak in and go whisper the cosmic owl says Can you just be in a costume just going... 
<laughs> Maybe. Just but it's gonna be like, you know, give Doc all your money or something like that. I don't know. I got a thing of change in the bag, that's about all we got. I'll take it. We can do that. Do sure. now. No, not yet. The Cosmic Owl has not come to me yet. It's going to work its way into your subconscious. I, I don't want to get in the costume and whisper it in your ear. Oh, see, now, now you're being lazy. Now. Nope. Nope. i got to find a Cosmic Owl costume. I'd pay to see that. So that's why you get all my money. See, again, therefore, it's going the full cycle. Send me links to a Cosmic Owl costume. 